How long are we going to do this for? I don't know. I was laughing at Kanye's <laughs> Have you not seen that before? I've seen the meme. I've not seen the table. Oh, so you don't watch the series then? No, of course not. Oh, fuck. Why is that plant up there? It's the, probably the mods have updated and we'll put it, it up. We'll put it next to the fireplace. There you go. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Stardew Valley. Hello. How's it going? It's your good pal, Gregner. And then there's also Elise here, I suppose. Hi. Uh, today in Stardew Valley, we're going to do a load of fishing to get the streak up. But I thought a fishing episode with just me... Oh, it's Granny Evelyn. Hello, dear. I just wanted to get you... Yeah, whatever. She wanted to give us a little tip, because... <laughs> <laughs> get a George. Sex, sex joke. Uh, let's take those salmon berries. What was, we to what was we talking about? Right, we're going to do fishing today, because uh, I need to get my streak as high as possible. But that's really boring if I just sit here. And the uh, Terraria series, where we sat and fished for an hour, people really liked. So here we are. We're going we're gonna to just sit here and fish all day. You, you know, well. like take your salmon berry with you and eat it for, for energy while you're fishing. Oh, God, you really don't watch this series, do you? Oh, what, are you just shit at this game? Is Fake that the whole man. thing? No, the oak chair, when you sit on it, gives you energy back. Why the fuck? What do you mean, why the fuck? Because it's mod. So yeah, otherwise... but why? Why would you need that? Why would you Why'd you do that? What do you mean, why would you do that? Is it just because you want to make the game easier? Yeah, because I don't want to piss around. No, you're not an epic gamer. I'm not exactly focusing on min-maxing Stardew Valley. Hello, Pam. I haven't played this since the um, update in December, so there's like a whole bunch of new weapons, and there's December? like a whole new... Yeah, December 2021. Oh. There's a whole... <laughs> like last December, you know it? the month of December? Yeah. There's a whole new mod mm -hmm. that makes it like... um Not not mod, but like a new update that has a whole new like volcano island and stuff. Yeah, I've done it. Um, oh. Well, I, it was, right. I, I wasn't a huge fan. We gotta go to the pond over by Marnie's. Because there's only one fish you can catch there. So if we sit and we just catch those, we can um we can keep the streak going super, super high, because then the only things that can spawn in is easy fish to catch and treasure. Mm -hmm. So you can barely lose your streak. Alright. It's enough. very big brain. Yeah, you got a very I should probably go brain. around and get all the salmon berries, but also, I mean pfft. I mean, they're not worth anything. You can apparently uh, put the uh, the automate like like a chest next to them, and it'll work with automate, and what, it'll suck the to, berries to suck off the, the berries up. Yeah, as long as you've got the chest adjacent or with the path. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've had that happen before. It was so an here accident, we are. Because um, I like to put tappers on the trees and just put a chest next to it to make my life easier. Is that how northern people say tapas? Are we doing this right now? <laughs> are we doing, doing that that joke what right are we now? Doing right now. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm really cold. I'm really tired. What, so what the hell are you talking I'm about? I'm sat here cold? in a dressing gown and Sam was just it's like... It's summer. It's not summer. It's September. It's not summer. It's like 20, 20 something. It's cold. That's pretty damn warm. No. I don't get out of bed if it's above 15 degrees C. Like what, what temperature is it right now? I'm going to find out for us. Uh, it's not 20 degrees. It's probably it's like... 18 degrees. I was going to say, it's probably like 15. Yeah. It's, it's like warm outside, but I'm cold. I'm too used to the bloody... 25 degrees temperatures. I hate that. Got to like 40. I hate that. I genuinely thought I was going to die in the summer. Yeah, it's like the hottest summer we've ever had. But that's happened every year, right? <laughs> oh, it's also happened everywhere. Yeah. It's just so warm. I'm going to call out Bobka. Oh. In Discord. This morning we were just kind of chatting. We have a no politics rule in the Discord that I break uh, for the meme. Um, and we were talking about, you know, like renting prices and stamp duty and things like that in the UK. I won't get into politics because it's really boring. Um, but then Bobka was like, oh yeah, but it's bad all over the world. And I'm like, yeah, Bobka, but I can't comment on the fucking economy of Poland because I don't know anything about the economy of Poland. I can only speak to what I know. And if everybody on the damn internet only spoke about what they knew about, the internet would be a better place. I've just missed two fish in my fury. Yeah, you are pretty mad. You're going to lose your streak immediately. Look at that. No, you don't. You don't. No. It's only catching streak, is it? Like yeah. during the catch. If you're if you're stupid. So you have to get a perfect fish every time. Uh huh. Otherwise, you lose your streak. Yeah, well, you or, actually click on the thing. What do you mean? I hadn't caught anything. No, it, it went off. The, the exclamation mark. Well, I can't hear it. It doesn't matter if you can't hear it. I can't Watch even the damn see it. Screen. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's zoom in a bit because then I'll actually see it. There you go. Fishing adventure time. My god, you're terrible at this. I'm not terrible at this. My streak is nine. <laughs> yes, that means you're really good. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Uh -huh. but does that make the bar bigger? The fishing bar bigger? Uh, I don't know. That's really bizarre. 
There you go. See, now we're up to streak 10. So we got a 22.25% chance of treasure. Mm -hmm. I think the treasure in this has been buffed because they got a treasure chest and they got a prismatic shard yesterday. Oh, that's pretty good. Apparently prismatic... I looked it up. Prismatic shards have a really, really, really low chance. I think it's like a, just a really low chance for most of them and then like there's like three that you get a really good chance of. You said I'm bad. I've caught like four Iridium bass. Wow. <laughs> Why are you going wow? Amazing. It's definitely not because you got a fishing mod on that makes them better. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. People were telling me how it works. So apparently, if you cast vertically, it's better than casting horizontally. You have to try and get uh, not max, but the furthest away from any land possible. Yeah. Did you not know that? Well, I... Well, I never really considered it before. You have to go for the dark patches of water as And well. also the bubbles, but I mean, stop that. I mean, yeah, they just give you a faster catch rate. Like, well, bite rate, sorry. Okay, we're not all experts, okay? I've played like 400 hours of Stardew Valley. Yeah, that's because you're a sad loser has no but friends I, in real life. In fact, I actually think it's 800 hours. Oh, Shane, I love you. I don't like Shane. Shane's all right. I like Shane as a character. I married him once and his floor was bad, so I divorced him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite bachelor bachelorette in Stardew Valley? Bachelorette. Oh, that's difficult. I I, I say I, I say Leah automatically. I think that's a, a, the only. She's the only choice. That's the only. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that is the only choice. And people who are like, oh, I like Emily. It's like, okay, you like weirdos. She's weird. She's too weird. She's absolutely 100% weird. Abigail makes me feel like a nonce. Maru makes me I feel like a nonce. I said that in the last episode I recorded earlier, where it's like, how the hell are you having children with these children? Yeah. Because, like, Abigail, when when I, when I spoke to her as Grigna, like, hello, is me, Grigna, and she's like, oh, I got homework to do, Grigna. I'm like, how old are you supposed to be here? It's, I think it's supposed to be implied that she's doing, like, university online. Well, that's exactly what I, I explained it as in the episode that's the only yeah. like justified it as in the episode because like stardew valley is isolated however i wouldn't date like assumedly like a girl in her early 20s like 20 or 21 i would feel well too she old. could be like 18 19 that's the thing like if, if you go for the latest that university is if you're starting university at 18 she's like late oldest like what 21 22 it makes me feel like a nonce it's, it's weird. <laughs> it makes me feel like, like a nonce. Like Sam and the other guy, that emo guy. Sebastian. Sure, yeah. I I'm a, I feel less weird, weird about Sebastian than I do Sam. Sam feels like a baby. Sebastian literally lives in his mother's basement and dyes his hair. <laughs> yeah, but like Sam also lives with his mum, but also like gets shouted at when he drops an egg. This is what I'm talking like... about. Like it's, it's all weird. Like, the, like Leah is maybe the only one who makes any sense. Maybe Penny. I like Hayley. Um, oh, isn't she like, the blonde one? Yeah, she's a dickhead. Oh. Like, like, she gets character development, you know. Um, we should go for the treasure. Now, yeah, look, so you would normally lose your streak, right? Yeah. Unless you get the treasure and catch the fish, at which point you don't gain any more streak. It's just preserved. You just don't lose it. Okay. Well, good job. So then. that was good. So you kept your perfect fishing streak. See, that was fine. And then... We get four rubies. You get four rubies with a weird te texture on it that you've... Oh, is that, is that not normal? No. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's the animated, like, inventory icons mod. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I'm, I'm not a purist on what things look like. I've done, like, alternative portrait mods. Like, I don't like Maru's... Shit. You... Oh! Why did you just go back down? I was trying to. It don't... Wait, you didn't even give me the treasure. Yeah, because you've missed the fish. Why? What? You don't get the treasure if what, you What, so the fish has the treasure in its mouth? Yes, yeah, sir. It's just accept it. Look, this is how the game works. Nah. I was trying to go down, but it wasn't It wasn't doing it. But yeah, Maru, like, with her, like, her like, overalls, it makes me feel like I'm dating, like, a yeah, toddler. Yeah, she does seem like a child. The, the, the overalls are not good. <laughs> it's all weird. Like, it's there's no good character. Like, Pam or Leah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, like Penny also because she lives with her mum. She feels more mature but, than the other girls. I can countenance that because it feels as if she only lives with her mother because they like the financial independence. Yeah, because like she's they're both poor. Um, well, ex thank you for rephrasing exactly what I said in a cruel way. It's not that you wanted to cruel. laugh at Pam. I do. I love laughing at Pam. I'd marry Pam if I could, but the game <laughs> you can is, you can mod it. In. She's not listed as single, so it makes you wonder who in the valley is she like. Notching off. I mean, Lewis, what is piping Marnie? So maybe he's going for Pam as well on the side. That's nah, why he won't commit. It'd be Pam and Gus. The thing is, like, I they don't love each other. They're just in she's, it. She's noshing like... him off for the, the bar tap. Right, exactly. It's friends with benefits. No, 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 because that makes it sound sinister. 
<laughs> like Gus walks into the trailer. You gotta. I, I thought he it's sounded. It's a like, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pam, you got the you got a dab to pay. <laughs> that sounds that's like a bit weird. Okay, I like the idea that it's like mutual. No, oh, yeah, I think that she's she... having a good time. They just have fun. They just have yeah. fun, and that's it. They're just, they're just like they just have fun in town. They're the party animals. Okay, that's acceptable. Yeah, who's your favorite bachelor then? They're all weird. Every single one of them. I... Every single one of them is weird. I think that my least the only ones favorite... that aren't children are what like Harvey and Elliot, um, and they're both fucking weird. So, uh, like Shane is canonically supposed to be like in his thirties. Oh yeah, like Shane. Okay, but Shane is also like Shane problematic. Shane is I like the I think the, the problem with Shane um, is that it's like almost the implication that your ca- your character marrying him fixes him. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it feels like, right? But then his like extra event that you get after marriage before somebody jumps in does technically like sort of go against it, kind of. But it's just kind of a weird one where uh, it feels like I don't like that you're fixing him. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, I like I, I like Sebastian. Um, I like Harvey. I actually do like Harvey. He's a, he's, oh, he's weird. He's a kind man. And he's not got a real medical license. <laughs> and he's always complaining about how he hasn't got enough patience and how he's going to go and find more. And it's like, that man's going out there with a crowbar, breaking legs. He's the one that did it to George. I'm te- Yeah, exactly. I'm <laughs> telling you, he's a he's a butcher. He's like Stan Gimbel. <laughs> Stanley Gimbel. <laughs> That's a good reference. It's a good callback. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Shout out to Cock Excellente, my guy. Uh, that's is my... that on this channel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This isn't a main channel series. Fucking no. hell. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that's my favorite one of you. This is uh, it's actually a sh- thing I watched you do. I watched all of your Bloodlines series. Because I, I just enjoyed it. I don't watch your content, though. It's we- It feels weird to watch your content. Why? Because it's like, you're not yourself. So it well, feels no. weird. Like, it's like watching, like, somebody pretending that you know really well, and it's just like, hmm, this feels off. <laughs> I don't know. Paris showbiz, social. Baby. So showbiz. You need to log off. We've got, what What time does the world shut in Stardew Valley? It's like 2, 2 a.m., and then you pass out, right? Yeah, I think so. Right. So we'll, we'll, we'll call it, like... Honestly, I'm probably going to call it midnight because the path between the farm and Marnie's is a, a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> yeah, because of all the shit, yeah. You're starting to feel exhausted. What a shame for you. Suck it up. Do you think we're scaring the fish with the bear on his head? No. All right. So before people <laughs> complain... <laughs> before people complain about me missing a load of fish and also, like, ruining the streak and also, like, uh, not actually catching them in the first place and missing the alert, I can't hear it for a start. Yeah, and I'm also paying 50 percent attention yeah just trying to trying to have conversations but i also have like 100 percent more attention span than most people so I think... it's true you've got more attention span than me no it's not attention span it's the ability to multitask yeah i'm bad at that you are bad at that it's like impossible for me like i can't do two things at once um and it, which becomes really frustrating when you know like you've got a friend over and they're trying to talk to you but the tv's on and you're just staring at the television even though you don't like what's on but your brain is just like... Well, I think because television. I have a low attention span, it, it made me better at multitasking. Mm-hmm. Because... Like, I would I would normally have, like, low-energy game open, like Cookie Clicker or RuneScape or something. Mm. Sometimes both. And, like, a high-attention game, or, like, a main-attention game, and then also, like, something off to the side to watch as well. Yeah. But then also maybe, like, a game on my phone, or I'd be in a Discord call along with that. Yeah, I can't do that. I've got to be, um, like, I, I always have something on in the background, but it's, like, something I ha- can pay half attention to. Um, like, usually a comedy show I've already watched, or... <coughs> that's a lot of things. But it's all stuff like that that I kind of just have in the background, and then I've got whatever I'm doing. Um, but then if, like, we're in a group setting, and, like, I don't know, there's a TV on or the radio is on, even if I don't want to tune into that, I will just automatically tune into it and ignore everything else else around me. It's, like, hyper-focusing on things. I, I've i got a query uh-huh. about this fishing mechanic. Yes, right? mate. Uh, what does it mean by 19.25% chance of treasure? I assume it means that um, about 20% of the time when you, you cast a fish... You, uh, you pull a fish back, you get a treasure chest. Right, but... Oh, you're interpreting like that. 
Yeah. Right, see, that doesn't make any sense, though, because we've caught, currently, uh, 20 iridium. We've got 23 fish, and we've only seen three treasure chests. Yeah. So that's far lower. You also got 30. That's like an 8%. I guess it's like more that you get 39% chance of trash, and then... That's not how percentage is like. Well, that's what it says there, though. Oh, I see. Right. So you're getting 39 percent chance. Right, of course. And then 20 percent the... of that is also treasure. You got 100 percent chance the rest of a small is getting a fish. But then that means that every single time you hit a fish, you should be getting much higher chance. Right. Of you getting... Exactly. Exactly. I don't know how they work it out. Maybe if you got your street better, we could figure it out properly. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can go up to 100. I'm sure it must be diminishing, but it seems like it goes at one percent each time. I honestly... To be fair, though, if you catch a hundred fish in a row perfectly, you deserve the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> we should sleep, because I've got, like, a fishing level ready to go. I thought you said we should sleep then, just because we're both tired well, in real life. Well, I'm very tired. <laughs> you ruined my sleep schedule. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't ruin your sleep schedule. No, you didn't. That was, that was just... When I went to my to parents' leave. house for the funeral, I... They had an airbed. Uh, and it deflated. <laughs> is it the same one that we stayed on that one time? No, this was a different one. My mum thought it was that one. Yeah. But it was a different one. That's why I was using it. Uh, but I inflated it, and it deflated, and I was on the floor. I basically slept on the floor all night, because my parents were also getting, like, new sofas. So I was just a uh, floor, but what's that? Oh, it's a stinky poo. Uh, I was just on the floor all night. Yeah. And it was horribly uncomfortable. It was some of the worst sleep in my life. I, I I need to just like sleep for like twelve hours solid. I think at this point. Yeah, I didn't sleep very well when you were away. Um, is that the way you me? have to go? Yeah, I said if I go up, I can't. If I go up through, you Marnie's, literally can't go through that way. I okay. can go through that way, but it's I'd have to like dodge Too all the shit. crap. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's quicker enough. to go this way, and we can also raid the bins on the way back. But yeah, I didn't sleep very <gasps> oh, well. Oh baguette! I, I saw my saw my grandparents, but like. I just was so tired constantly, like, their whole trip. I ended up going to sleep at, like, 9 p.m., waking up at 3 a.m. So in the saloon at this hour? Uh, they'll probably be Shane. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Clint. Clint. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. God, he's such an incel. <laughs> <laughs> My father was a blacksmith. Yeah. His father was a blacksmith. Yep. Yeah. Uh, was he a blacksmith? How'd you know? Yeah, yeah very call, funny, call him a sarcastic jerk and make him upset. I should have. Pam. Nothing like a sip of the old good stuff to warm these old bones. You want something else to warm them? Nothing like a... You want another warm bone to warm up your... Oh. Hello. It's a me. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a mod for that. Uh, absolutely. Oh, I've got to find well, it. Well, on, on the Stardew Valley Expanded mod, one of the only things I like about it is that they change outfits all the time. Yeah. Um, and on the Halloween event, Gus dresses up as Mario. Uh, if there's no mod for it, I'm, I'm just going to make it. Because it's just like, what? It's got to be like a texture swap. Yeah, you got to That's two seconds for an expert Photoshop lord like me. Is there a job on. where it's like Photoshop? But probably, right? Because I could do that if the YouTube fucks up. You'd be pretty good at stuff like that. I, I mean, it's more like graphic design and things, isn't it? It's and that is passion. your passion. <laughs> Beat you to it. <laughs> oh, God. Have you seen the sexy bus? Yeah, I saw it. It yeah. had a load of Pam on it. making sure. Yeah, a load of I'm Pam's in there. Sure that you've seen the sexy bus and the creepy eyes. Right, uh, take my fish. <laughs> okay. Take my fish. What, what do you use rubies in general? Uh, like, you just gift them to people, right? Yeah, I think that, um... Who likes what? Well, uh... Purple girl eats the... Amethyst, yeah. That's it. She eats that. The dwarf likes most gems. Where's my... Where, does, where do I put junk? Ah, there's where you put John. <laughs> Your color coding's weird. <laughs> it's not weird. It's not weird. It, it actually has a lot of sense. So this is like stuff that you can get from the ground. So it's and brown junk, okay. right? So this comes from the ground because you kill slimes in the mine there in the ground, right? Okay. So like, that makes <laughs> sense, right? I put your coal in there as well. This, it, no, 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 no. This is uh, organics, like plant stuff, uh -huh. right? Axe made of wood, so that goes in there. I'm not giving that back to These are, This is absolutely the worst fucking system. This is stuff to smell, right? Uh-huh. A brown is just like monster stuff. Yeah. I can make it blood red. Yes. Uh, This is just, again, like trash and stuff that's like useful. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh Baguette made of wheat, so that's organic. Okay. And blue is water, but obviously I haven't got any fish or coral or anything. Oh, God, I've got strawberries to water. 
Oh, man, I've made a horrible mistake here. I forgot. So I thought that strawberries were available on the first day of summer. No, they're at the event. Right. So I was like, I'm going to save all my money. And then I'm going to sell everything at the end of spring. And then I'm going to buy a shitload of strawberries. And I'm going to be quids in. And then I got to the egg egg day where Pam lays her uh, eggs. Yeah. And, uh, oh, shock horror. There's strawberries there. Apparently I, needed, I had plants that needed watering. So we've just balls that up. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, Fisher or Trapper? Yeah, uh, Fisher. Oh, obviously Fisher. Yeah. Who would ever take the other one? I I literally never do the trapping unless I've got to get a community center bundle. Like total AFK farm, I suppose. I guess. You can, you can put the thingy down, can't you? Yeah. Um, put chest next to the crab pot. Yeah. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Mr. Krabs? Krabs? I, was, I had something I was going to say, but now I've forgotten it. Well, it clearly wasn't that important. It was going to be mean to you. Oh! So. Oh! Remember oh. it. I'm going to go back onto something else, though. Your oh. weird fucking chest <laughs> thing. Like, oh, shut up. Like, what? The color coding doesn't make sense. Who's this? Oh, dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to you to let you know the Pierre store is now selling a fertilizer. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Au revoir, it's Pierre. Thanks, Pierre. Are was you that racist? Your crops this time? That was not racist. It was loud. That oh, it's because you forgot that one cauliflower. No, I, I did forget. I always forget that one cauliflower. It's like the black sheep <laughs> of the farm. You've absolutely fucking ruined this. It looks <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking terrible. Grigna, you know what Grigna is. You know what, who he is. You know his backstory. The man doesn't farm. He slays. He fart. <laughs> you fart. How dare you? <laughs> he fart. To farm. But like the only one that I agree with here, like I kind of agree with the monster one, and I agree with the water one. What are you talking about? Well, that's like minerals, Marie. I go for my minerals in black. What? Yeah. Why? Minerals in black. I've got yellow for seeds. There's only one mineral that's black in this game. That's cool. Yeah, but it's like it goes with the smell of black. We're gonna try um, going this way. Yeah, minerals black. I've got um, yellow for my seeds. I've got yellow for seeds. What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, the common color of plants, yellow. Look, mate. I, gr Don't look, mate. Green, green is forage and like crops. Green is forage and crops. Yeah. So like your salmon berries and your crops will all go in there. You're coming at me about my what? color scheme. What's and then wrong with like, my green one? You've got fucking baguettes in with your plants. You're like, oh, baguette is a plant. You're like yellow is seed. I can't yellow get to that berry. <laughs> shit in the way. <laughs> you can get to it. You no. Being a lazy shithead. We've got farming to do. <laughs> You've not got farming to do. You're fishing to do. Yeah, I know what. There's, uh, it's oh, my God. This farming. is, this is an embarrassment. Farming. You're an embarrassment. Don't ever talk to me again. You know what? Maybe I won't. Just no. give me a video on your own. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've almost hit level six fishery. Just got back to bed straight away. Congratulations. Look at his little swole arms. He is so swole. He is so swole. It's all the fish he's hooked. And all the monsters he's slain. That's pretty much all I've done, if you can't tell. He's just slay monsters. Slay monster. Fair enough. Down to, like, level 40 in the mine. I've grown about six crops. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> That's life on the fight. It's a hard life. Grigna, so, so the end goal for Grigna is to... Shit. Is to build uh, the world's biggest brewery. So I've downloaded a brewery building mod. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just grow like star fruit in greenhouses or whatever. Whatever makes the best wine. Star fruit makes the best wine. Um, ancient fruit gives you the most yield over time. Now, ancient fruit, you can't turn into wine, though, can you? Yes, you can. Can you? Yeah. What's the other one? Rare fruit. What rare seed? What do you do with that? The ancient seed. Yeah, that's ancient fruit. No, no, no. That you buy from the traveling merchant. Oh, you mean the extra sweet one? Um, I don't you know. Well, I forget what it's called, but yeah, the orange one you can't make Perfect. into wine. Um, God, what is that called? It's just called rare seed when you buy it. Uh, rare fruit. It's, maybe it's rare fruit, I don't know. But I know this ancient fruit is the blue one. Yes. And that can be made into wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you give the uh, orange fruits, the ones that you get from this, uh, the seeds, uh, you get the, that and you give it to the statue behind the the secret woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Um, and it wants the sweetest taste. What? Is this the game with the star drops in it? Uh, yeah, you get the star fruit. What do they do? No, no, uh, no, they no, give no, you, no, 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 The purple ones, yes, I know what you're talking about, the star drops. And they do, like, thing. magic powers. They give you extra energy. That's correct, that's it, yeah. And, and it's like, your mouth is filled with tasty memories of, and then whatever you fill in is your favourite thing. Yeah, so I had dogs. 
<laughs> and if you put a specific um Oh, you can put, like, Concerned Ape, can't you? And then it'd be like, oh, thanks. Uh, and then you can put in, like, the code for a f uh, certain items, and you can get that item. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, some people got it so, got it so they could get star drops out of it. Like, more of them. Oh. Yeah. Well, that seems like an exploit. It is an exploit. And he, I think he left it in, because he was like, fuck it, why not? Um, oh, how bizarre. And the only way to increase your health in the game that I know of is you have to... You know Mr. Chi? Do you remember him? Yeah, the purple man. Yeah, the purple man. You find him in the mines and he gives you, like, a special juice. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> and his, his special juice makes you have extra health. Yeah, it does. It really, it really does. It really does. Uh, and you have to get to... I think it's floor 100. And if you go down with steps... Is that Skull, that's Skull, Skull Cabin, Skull Cabin, yeah. And he winds at you because you didn't do it. You didn't do it the uh, honourable way. Oh, I've downloaded a mod that gives me an elevator. Yeah, me too. I hate that fucking area. It's like, why would I waste my time doing this? Like the, the fighting in these games is like, I like it's Stardew the, Valley, it's but awful. it's so bad. <laughs> well, the next game, uh, what is it called? Haunted Chocolatier. Yeah, it's that all has, about like, fighting. Boss right? fights in it. Yeah, it's yeah. like it, it's like Stardew Valley crossed with Terraria. It feels like Room Factory to me. Oh uh, yeah, I get it. I get um. It. And it would make sense because he you know, obviously the That's this like, is yeah. based on Harvest Moon and Harvest Moon and Room Factory are all very interlinked. Um, yeah, I I'm interested to see if they how they're going to improve the fighting because uh, in this game it's it's actually pretty. I mean tosh. the bar's pretty low, right? Oh, like, honestly, when you get to the area in the lava volcano, you have to fight in there, and it is actually the worst ball lake ever, and I fucking hate it. It's like don't do this to me, mate. I not I don't want to fight in your game. <laughs> it's so not fun. Right, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Let's get the fish to almost complete. I wish that what they'd done is, because in um, Harvest Moon, what would happen is you'd have like secret bachelors and bachelorettes you could find. Like I Van. Van was not a bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and like there was... The, the mermaid. The mermaid. She was the one I always went for. And the, har the Harvest Goddess. Harvest Goddess. Uh, there was Kai in Harvest Moon DS. I really liked him. I married him. Um, the witch. You could marry the witch, I think. But you had to be evil. You had to be evil. Yeah, you could marry the witch. I never got to manage to do it. Um, but yeah, you could marry the witch. You could marry the harvest goddess. I always married either the mermaid or Kai because I liked them. This is just harvest moody. The mermaid yes. was in that weird man's basement. Um, yeah, she was in like the lab, lab like the crazy scientist's basement for a while. And then when you got to a certain heart level with her, either her or him, she would go back to the sea. And you'd have you could only meet her after like 10 p.m. by the beach. I remember us having uh, you can have kids in that game, can't you? Yes. I remember us having in-depth conversations years ago <laughs> about what I suppose kids would now refer to in 2022 terms as a mermussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, like she's part half fish, right? But is she like half fish but also mammal? I don't know. Because she's got boob. Well, she stays in the pond as well. So do you go out and fuck her in the pond? Well, because you uh, like you just like fertilize into the pond, like Futurama style, right? Yeah, I would see. Is that how you do it? I mean, I'd do that for her. <laughs> Why not? You just like... I just not in the pond. Not in the, not in the pond. Not Thank in the pond. Thank you. There's, that's this episode's name. <laughs> pond <Thank> nut. <laughs> that's what Shane does when he's fucking sad and lonely. I mean, you do have that heart event with him here. Or he comes and nuts in the pond. Yeah. Gets down on all fours. <laughs> Every single time, right? I don't know if people know the context of oh! the, you, dickhead. The the OG Yoda wanks on all fours meme. It's Lemmy. It's Lemmy. <laughs> it's Lemmy. Um, and um, whenever we talk about somebody who we're disparaging, we say that we think that they wank on all fours. It's just a horrifying <laughs> mental image, isn't it? It's absolutely <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Getting down on your hands and knees and just doing just what? Wanking. Doing whatever you've got to do. Onto the bed, I presume? Oh, it's just horrible. No, I think like on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. Like, like, like a dog. On the, in the kitchen. Go oh, for, God. It's easy to clean up off the lino. <laughs> That's a horrible thought. Well, we say it about our friends, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I think some people we know would do that, though. That's yeah, the absolutely. It's different, like, because, like, there's one thing where you wank in, like, you know, like, up your ass or something. But, like, if you just actually... Wow, just this is really... What is it with you? I never talk about stuff like this when I'm on my own. You really bring the tone down. <laughs> you were the one that brought a wanking into a pool to When I do to talk fertilize. about this stuff, I make it exceptionally veiled so that people have to think about it. <laughs> I give them a lot to think about. <laughs> You just drag it down, kicking and streaming. Yeah. On all fours. It's more fun with me around, mate. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You're, you're uncouth. 
I'm, I'm not on clues. You, you know what? What might actually be a thing oh, is God. the no, 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 with the treasure. Oh, okay, thank <laughs> God for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you look, it's a hundred percent chance of smallmouth bass. So maybe if you get the smallmouth bass, it's a hundred percent chance you'll get that. Um, thirty-two percent chance that you get trash instead of the smallmouth, and then seventeen percent chance you get the um, treasure on top of the trash. As in, like you could pull trash and it take the treasure chance. If you know what I mean. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it's all garbage and needs explaining better. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I just I just thought I would bring that up and take the tone away from what I was just saying. No, I appreciate that a lot. Saying. But yeah, I expected there to be um, like a new bachelor or bachelorette or both on this island, you know, to give people some end game thing to like go for. What about Sandy in the desert? Sandy was going to be an option. Like, he's, he basically said, he put up two polls and he was like, who do you want to be romance options out of these characters? Because they had the normal bachelor, bachelors and bachelorettes and then they had Shane, Emily, who was were eventually added. Then uh, you had Sandy and Marnie. Uh, and for the guys I don't remember, probably Clint... Um... Gunther? <laughs> Gunther, yeah, why not? Fuck it. George, uh, what's his name? Jojo in the Mart? Um, Mr. Jojo? Morris. Mo Morris, that's Morris, it. Mr. Jojo. His name is Morris Jojo. <laughs> Morris Jojo. I don't know who the guy options were, but Shane was one of them. And it, people voted for Emily instead of Sandy. Like, imagine voting for Emily over Sandy. Yeah, that's not like, right. You're fucking weird. That's not right. All of you are weird. No one, no one, none of those people clearly played Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. I absolutely would have gone for Sandy. I probably would have married Sandy. I like her more. Like, uh, Greece. You could be John Travolta. I, you, I genuinely saw the cogs whirring in Sam's head <laughs> as, he was, as he was thinking about that joke. <laughs> like, what is the man's name from Greece? <laughs> well, I don't know what the man's name from Greece is. I just know he was played by John Travolta. He's Danny. Danny, it is. You're mm. right. My mum used to listen to Greece all the time. It was my friend Lauren's favourite film when we were kids. Uh, my grandparents. Hell, that's a bit dry. <laughs> she liked Greece. Greece. Yeah, we all like musicals because we were we were all singers. So, uh, so yeah, she liked Greece a lot. My favorite film as a kid was Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> um, I don't. I think Mike's favorite film changed a lot. It was School of Rock for a while. Um, that's a solid choice, but it's it's. I I couldn't ever say it's my favorite film because it's just like. It, it, I mean, I was a child. Um, like every, like every Jack Black, like Tenacious D. Jack Black's the same Great guy film, every single film. Yeah. But it's just Jack Black plays guitar again. Yeah. Like every film he does. Unless he doesn't do that in Jumanji. But Maybe. he almost certainly sings and dances around and has a lot of high energy for a man not befitting of his size. Yeah. That's kind of his thing, isn't it? But yeah, I remember School of Rock was my favorite for ages. And I think the reason why genuinely is because it was the only DVD I owned. That's pretty much why I like Star Wars Phantom yeah. Menace, because I had it on VHS. I had a little yellow TV in my bedroom with a uh, a video player in it, mm. and I just used to leave that in and then rewind it. I had a lot of stuff on video, actually, thinking about it. Like, Nightmare Before Christmas, I had on video, uh, and a load of Disney films. And whenever I went to my grandparents' caravan, I would watch, like, Disney films mm. on uh, on the VHS. Um, and my brother did as well, actually. And he was born like... He, he's like s firmly Gen Z. So... Do you remember the first DVD you ever bought? First DVD? Not first DVD, because my parents bought them and I, I was too young. The first ever um, DVD I bought with my own hard-earned money was Pokemon the Movie 2000, the one with Lugia. It was in this weird, like, cardboard flip book with a plastic hinge. It was very bizarre. Yeah. And I also used to buy all the Simpsons uh, seasons on DVD. But those were, like, expensive, so I could only buy the ones on sale. So I had, like, season six, and then, like, season eight. They had the really cool boxes. The they season, did. They, they? they were in the shape of characters' heads. Fucking fish. Eat my f fucking nuts. Eat my Grigna ass. Um, I can't remember the first CD I bought, like, of music. Ooh. Um, oh, God, let's not talk about music. <laughs> Why not? What's <laughs> wrong? So the first CD I bought, I was coerced into buying. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Fucking Ali G. <laughs> Of all things, the first the first CD I like actually legitimately bought with my own money and enjoyed was like Gorillas, I think. Um, but I also bought like um, Green Day's Bullet in a Bible. Yeah. Of all albums, uh, I, I... Ramstein was the first one I got. Oh, first one I got from Amazon. Yeah. Ramstein was the first ever Amazon purchase I ever made. I don't remember my first ever Amazon purchase, but I got for my first ever CD. 
I got three in like a like a three for like five pounds, I think, or something like that. Now that's what I call music. I got no a no doubt album. I think a Lacuna Coil album. Well, that's a fair choice. Um, and I don't remember who else. I know that because I had an iPod um as well so i didn't need to buy physical dvds and uh, cds but i i liked to get them um i also this is off topic a little bit i because i had a, a cd player in my bedroom um one that my parents used to have and they put it up there um and i had the final fantasy 13 soundtrack that i got with the deluxe edition that my dad bought me um and i played that all the time I had like nothing better to do with my life. I just listened to the Final Fantasy XIII soundtrack. I still own that. Final Fantasy XIII? No, no, no. It couldn't have been Final Fantasy XIII. No, I own the Final Fantasy XIII soundtrack. Yeah, but Final Fantasy XIII only came out like 10 years ago. And no, this is later on. This is later oh. on. I'm not saying this is my first thing. It's just something I remember. I was going to say, Jesus Christ, how old are you? <laughs> no, I just remember always listening to it. And, a, and weirdly enough, a good Charlotte album. I don't even like good Charlotte <laughs> that much. Christ almighty. They're like proper god botherers. So I was yeah, kind of like, I was just listening to these songs <laughs> by good Charlotte. Um, it was Cardiology. I remember the album. Um, and also Danger Days by My Chemical Romance. I listened to that a lot. Um, this is going to like when I was probably like what a teenager, I'd imagine. I don't really remember. Um, Shit, mate. Long time ago. Shit, mate. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of nice though when I think about it, because like we're probably the last sort of kids that had the VHSs and yeah. CDs and things. Yeah, well, I mean, in, in some ways it's good because it's uh, an, an abundant it, amount of plastic waste. Yeah, it takes up so much space as well. My God, like an uh, an unbelievable amount of plastic waste with CDs and so many of them just didn't sell and just went straight to landfill. Like, think of, think of how many Michael Bublé albums are in a landfill right now. People don't need to hear your 18th Christmas album, Bublé. <laughs> Get that shit in the bin. Yeah, nah. It's just like such an incredible waste. Thank God. Well, now records are back in, aren't they? <laughs> I'm, I don't get it. I understand it purely only for nostalgia. If you are 17 and buying vinyl, you've lost your fucking mind. I, I don't get why you would want a vinyl collection. But the saying that I'm an anime oh, it sounds figure better. collector. Oh, it's, I like having something physical. Oh, it sounds better. Shut the up. only time I'd want to buy a vinyl or a CD of something is because I really love the artist and I just want a physical piece of merchandise of theirs, I guess. But, like, I just wear a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, don't... I just couldn't be bothered with something like that, I'll be honest. I'm... In fact, the only thing I've recently... Cause I, 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 you know cassette tapes. You must have used those when you were a kid. Uh, you know, well, kind Wait, of, yeah. I did. My, my, dad's... my parents' car. Yeah, my dad um was... he did his own music so he had a cassette with his own music on uh, and we had a cassette player um i don't remember what we had I anymore. To dad's own music. my dad had his own music <laughs> and he would play it i'm not the man like, he loved to suck his own dick <laughs> you know what say, he's that's, like that's a little bit narcissistic of course it is oh, said, that's coming from a youtuber his, so his fucking phone background was his own face i'm not even joking Ooh. oh man wanted to suck himself off so emotional bad emotional damage yeah i know right <laughs> spinner Trap bobber. What are those? Uh, I guess that they make the fish stay on more, and spinner makes them attracted more. Does it? Yeah. Are you are you guessing, or do you know that? For I think that's what they do. I think I remember it. Right. I'm trusting you here. The trap bobber. It should say. It should explain it. But I think the trap bobber. We have to is craft like, it with. Oh. Oh no. No, oh, I'm not responding. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh oh. Don't panic. But yeah, the trap bobber is a uh, copper. Uh, you need for it, I think. Oh, a copper. Oh, a copper. I don't know what you. Oh, we're back in. I don't know what you get the uh, spinner with. To be honest. Ah, oh, upgrades. It's like the Swan King returns from Minecraft. Why is the door... Is that supposed to be a doormat? Is that supposed to be a world's smallest rug? It's, a, it's a horrible to put down because it doesn't fit properly. Uh, two iron bar. Iron bar. Slightly increased by rate when fishing, then trap bubble causes fish to escape slower when you aren't reeling them in. See, I was right. Copper you can only pick one or the other, right? Uh, you can only have one on at a time, yeah. But you need a better oh, rod. Oh, but you need a better rod. Yeah. Well, will he sell it if I'm... At a certain level, yeah. Okay, let's go see big man Willis. Who's this? Fucking hell. He also sells the... <gasps> hat mouse! You've already got a hat. Come to the old, old, old house. Poke. Bring coins. I always read it as pokey. Poke. I didn't... Oh, shut You're such a weeb. I didn't re realize it was just poke. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you very much, love, mum. P.S. Found an envelope with some money in it. Grandpa left for you. I love that your character never responds. 
like just fucking ignores her like it's, it's seen <laughs> yeah, i think they have a turbulent relationship because why wouldn't grandpa have left the farm to mum? yeah i'm right about to say like it's kind of weird right i guess he was just like nah she's already got a life in order grigna's got fuck all to his name what if she doesn't though we don't know that maybe she's like a pam and we just left our alcoholic maybe mother. she is pam <gasps> dun, dun, dun. oh my god that's why you can't fuck her there's one more. There's and one more crop. There's one more crop. You missed it. Look Where? at the look, look, left. Left, bottom left. Bottom, bottom oh, left. Oh, right. And that's why Penny is the sweetest meat of all of them. Oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's the luck today? It's... Maybe you should stay home, you piece of shit. Bad luck. Oh, man. Grigna's going to go for Penny now. Oh. Are you, are you going to get married in this game? Do you have, do you have a plan of a marriage? Uh, no, I think... Well, okay, so people are trying to make arguments for it in the comment section. So people are saying Abigail because... Abigail's weird! I, I, I have already established I, I, she's weird. I genuinely don't like her either. People are saying Abigail because Grigna likes to go in the mine and fight, and that's what Abigail likes to do. Yeah. So it's a good match. It makes sense. It makes sense, but counterpoint, Krobus. Oh, Krobus. Yes! That's Krobus is real. And I like Krobus. By, by that logic, logic, they're like, Grigner is a big muscly man. He should marry Alex because Alex is swole. No. No? No, because he doesn't want to be out-muscled. I mean, he's not going to be out-muscled, though, is he? They could mutually enjoy working out together. No, no, no. That's not Grigner's style. No? Grigner has has been in a, in a same-sex relationship before with Major Knight. This is the deep Grigner <laughs> I don't know any of it, so I'm very excited. Uh, but it didn't work out. No. Uh, Major Knight was kind of a uh, was man in the army. He was too dedicated to his job. Oh no! And Grigna was kind of it was kind of second second rate a little bit. That's a shame. I'm so I think Grigner. this time around we'll give Grigna a, 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 a heteronormative relationship. Okay, with Krobus. That's a good. No, no, no. Yeah, I'd take that back. No, Krobus. He's gonna have, he's gonna uh, gonna be bunk mates. They're gonna be bunk mates. Totally not gay. Just two guys chilling in a out. hot tub. Sharing a hot tub, butt naked. <laughs> Touching tips, not gay. Not gay. Does Krobus have a tip? He will by the time Gregna's done with him. <laughs> <laughs> um But yeah, I'm, I'm, I I'm I don't know who, who Grigna should marry, but I don't think that I would I would actually At this point maybe Willie. IRL marry any of them. Master Workfish. Oh You can have bait and you can have Bazinga. Let's take that. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Big Willy. Thank you, Big Willy. Uh, he sells one flounder. What wow, a bizarre man. a whole flounder. So, lead bobber. Yeah, mate. Prevents it bouncing. Don't really care about that. What do you think? Increases the bite rate. I think that's probably the best. I like the trap bobber, but uh, really? you're, you're only catching one kind of fish. So, go for spinner. Trap bobber's only good if you're actually ca catching hard fish. All right, let's try and catch some hard fish then. Why, though? You want your, your streak, though. What about your streak? Yeah, but... All right, you know what, fair enough. Well, we can buy both and just yeah, swap them out. Yeah, you can go for both. And can buy both. You might as well use the trap bobber later on. Blink, blink. And then let's go uh, spinner. Blink. Yep. There you go. Hooray. Oh, it's like the Swan King all over again. Deep Grigna lore, don't worry about it. Yeah, the Swan sure. King canonically was Grigna, or a descendant of Grigna, or an ancestor of Grigna, I haven't decided. Add that to the lore. Okay, put that on the wiki. Every second channel character has been related to one another somehow. Oh, really? Deep lore. Cock Excellente is related to Grigna? Yeah, uh, deep lore. Oh. Oh, but well, that was actually true for the Elder Scrolls series. Wait, what? Who Who was Cock Excellente's brother? Uh, Dong. Dong Excellente, yeah. Dong, it was Dong. I remember Dong. They had a turbulent relationship because of their, uh, what was it, something to do with their father <laughs> or their mother? Never spoke to mother. Something about Christmas. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> it was a long story. They missed a sound of stream of deep lore, it's man. Deep, it's deep lore. It's got like channel, first channel deep lore and second channel deep lore. The second channel deep, it's like the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> Except second channel deep lore gets weird because even I don't remember half of it because nobody's reminding me about what happens on the second channel. Yeah, people are probably like, oh, actually. And then some of them cross over onto the main channel. That's it's true. Actually, yeah. Like legal Because you've Lee. had Cock, Cock Excelente has made it over. Everybody wants Legal Lee's Regal Bees for Rimod. Oh, that's cool. Where he just uh, fishes. Uh, not fishes. <laughs> fishes, but bees. What's that called? Uh, there's a beekeeper. That's correct. They're not fishing. You should just play Minecraft. Do the bees. I could do the bees. Do the bees in I Minecraft. think people would scream if I played Minecraft. Could you imagine what people would say if I played Minecraft on the main channel? Jesus Christ. Ugh. It would be whiny piss babies. Up the walls. There was that one time I did a Fortnite video for a meme. 
for an April Fool's Day video. I played Fortnite and won. And people weren't like, well, this was a great one-off video. Please never do it again. They were all like, Wee! But then people, when, whenever we put a, a, a thing out, like, what do you want us to play? And everyone goes, Minecraft, Minecraft, please play Minecraft. Fuck. So you can't win. It's either you do like Minecraft and half the people are going to really love it. And some people are going to really, really hate it. I don't know why it's so popular still. Well, YouTubers, that's why it's so popular. I mean, you, people YouTube. Because people are still doing it, right? Yeah, it's all that, all the, all the, uh, like the, the, I don't know what they're called, like the Dream SMP lot, There's right? There's like Captain Sparkle. Or is he problematic now? One of them was problematic for a bit. Uh, I forget. I don't think Captain Sparkles has ever done anything that was There weird. was like, I has Cupquake. She did a lot of Minecraft. I fucking have no idea who that is. Um, See you, Nanas. It's always bad on the main channel recently. God, know, they, what's wrong with with these fish? <laughs> they hate you. I've got a little feisty. It's because you got bad luck, mate. Uh, you know what? The Actually, you might be right. Cannon. Actually, might be cannon. Your trash chance is a lot higher. I like how they make the trash stinky. You're st a fucking... I just said I like it's you, like piece of shit. It's like looking in a mirror shit. for you, though, isn't it? Why, is he, why are you being so fucking rude, man? You're stinky trash, Brad. You're stinky trash. No. You're a big stinker. You can't call me stinky. This is my channel. Big stinker. I'm reporting you to YouTube Terms of Service. Large stink hole. It's all right. Susan doesn't like me anyway. I say the C word too much. That's a slur on YouTube. Not one of the worst slurs, according it, to YouTube. Just as bad as the N word, according it to is. YouTube. It uh, is. It's actually what it says on the YouTube guideline policy guidelines. Yeah. And that, this isn't a bit. This is very yeah. real. It's uh, alongside the F slur for gay people. So and if you live in the Australia or the United Kingdom and <laughs> like to use the four letter C, you're done for. Yeah, that's it. You can't say it. You cannot say that. You will. You will go straight to YouTube hell, which is ironically. YouTube. Just YouTube, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been demonetized by saying that, for sure, um, on the Elise and Sam channel. It's just a word I say, man. It's just in my lexicon. I'm not like going out of my way to say it. No, my lexicon. My oh, lexicon. Be oh. It's really weird because you know, like when I occasionally talk about things that I know about, like history, and like. Uh, have you got a degree? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but I, I'll talk about stuff that I know. And I'll actually speak like a person that knows things, and it, it br throws people off. Like, the comments always say, like, I didn't expect you to actually have a brain. It's like, yeah, mate, I'm just common. Maybe you should stop lowering your standards by uh, pivoting so frequently from topics such as wanking on all fours. You pivoted to wanking on all fours. <laughs> you're, the one that, you're the one that starts everything. I just follow through. You're a pussy. You can't go all the way. Wow. Uh, there's so much to unpack there, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> you know what I was actually thinking about earlier? You, oh, you called me You called me like a bitch and a whore earlier. Like in the, our normal conversation. And I called you like, um, a, a, like a, a thought in response. But like bitch is such a, like a, a word that's specifically used for women usually. No. Um, but no, you, because it, if you, you can call me a bitch and a whore, but I can't say you're a cock and a thought. It doesn't work. I think bitch is, is very gendered, but for not that reason. I think if you call a woman a bitch, you're calling her a, a like a like a like a um, like a catty, vindictive woman. If you call a man a bitch, he's, he's a coward. A, a wimp. Yeah, I know. Right. I, I know exactly what you mean. But what I'm saying is that like, um, I I couldn't think of a, an equivalent for calling like you a, a man slur. You know, because let's, let's count it. I guess because couldn't I don't I just don't. It's everyone. Oh, thank you for that. That's this video fucking done for, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I accidentally said it. If if you get this demonetized now. I'm sorry. I'm gonna charge you out of your pocket. I'm sorry. Seven Susan. pounds you owe me now. Susan, please don't don't demonetize us. It's Seven just, whole pounds. It's not a slur. It's just a word, mate. It's just a word. <laughs> Like, God, could you imagine? Like, I would be arrested a thousand times in America because it seems to be such a big deal there. It's a very big deal. I don't understand why. I don't get it. Because it's because it is gendered there. Like, I, I, know, yeah, I know the origin of the word, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. but it's like, it it just doesn't... Apparently, it's used as specifically to demean women. But it's like, I've never, in this country, ever heard it specifically used for that. It's just like a, a strong way to say somebody's a bad person. Or a good person. Yeah. It's very like, confusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it depends on the way you say it. Like, if you put the emphasis on it in a certain way, where you're, you're trying to call somebody in like, Yeah, if you're saying way, it out of anger, yeah. then people are going to take it take in a it negative as, as way. Take it as an offensive thing. But if thing. you say it with a ha-ha, laughy, laughy, laugh sound. Like, yeah. Like, my granddad would hate it if I said it in his presence, because he's old, and he doesn't like when women swear. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> God. 
I could go on about that forever. Um, uh, he was a policeman. How could is he not like well, fine he's still, with swearing? He's still policing, but different yeah, he's just now. policing everything I say. Um, but yeah, y- y- most people that are young wouldn't bat an eye. I don't think. No. Like in in a friendly situation, like you don't bang out like the c word in your first conversation with someone, but. <laughs> Yeah, you will, like, in a group setting. Yeah, don't bang out your C-word in your first <laughs> conversation with someone. What if you do want somebody to bang out their C-word? Depends on the business arrangement at hand. Yeah. <gasps> Have an admirer. You, hey, pal. You and Leah can sit together. How are you doing? This morning, I accidentally stepped on a This plug. is why I don't like Leah that much. It's just like I, I, I'm, I would definitely feel sad if I stepped on, like, a snail or something. She's like, is she, like, hyper-vegan? Yeah, kind She won't eat anything that casts a shadow. She likes she likes goat's cheese. If you, it's one of oh, her so love gifts. Just like, she's okay. just a vegetarian. But she gets sad about stepping on bugs. Yeah. I, oh, I see a fly. I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything in my power to erase it from existence. Yeah, flies. I I definitely agree with. I just don't feel like I just. It's, she gives me preachy vegan vibes. I'm friends with vegans. Vegans are normal, but she gives me fr- preachy I, vegan I, vibes. I, I would say that the vegan we know is the least normal person I know. However, he's not preachy about it. <laughs> he's just, it's not because he's a vegan. He's just he's just weird. That's like the least weird part about him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've known loads of like normal vegans though. Yeah, but we also knew like our preachy vegan. We did know a preachy vegan. Which who, which one was it? That was the preachy vegan. The model. Oh, that guy. Yeah. No, but he wasn't a real vegan. I'm not even joking you. I worked with him. He would constantly not be vegan for certain meals. <laughs> yes, I'm a vegan. Yes, we eat meat. Yes, we exist. <laughs> yeah. He like he constantly would like say, I'm going vegan. It'd last a week. And then he'd go back to eating meat. He was one of those. I, I totally forgot that he even technically was. But then the other guy I worked with, with the... With the no, I know. I know the guy. Yeah. He, he was always fine. He was like super normal. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know, I feel like bad, because whenever I talk shit about a vegan person, I feel like I need to be like, but not all vegans, though. You know, like, people are like, not, yeah. not all men, and I'm just like, not all vegans. I think I might classify as an ultra carnivore, which is when 70% of your diet is made up of meat. You know what you genuinely might be? I genuinely might. Yeah. What have I eaten today? Um, oh, I've eaten chips and mozzarella sticks. Yeah, you've been I'm good today. figure of health. I mean, yeah. to be fair, you asked me to buy you a present, and I bought you mozzarella, mozzarella sticks, sticks as Hell a present. Yeah. So... But yeah, you eat a lot of meat. I eat a lot more vegetables than you. You don't eat any vegetables. Like, I eat a lot of vegetables. I hate vegetables. I fucking love vegetables, I dude. just don't enjoy... Yeah, but it's a texture thing with me. I just really like them. The flavours look just great. Like I can't... St- I just, just learn uh, how to The cook texture it. makes me, makes me um, feel strange funny funniness in my bones. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. It's, it's like dating a child. Wow. You're mocking me because I have clearly some sort of... Spectrum-based disorder. Shut up, sensory issue. <laughs> wow, I'm being bullied here. You are. You deserve it. What, what should, should we wrap this up soon? We've been fishing for like an hour. I mean, like, yeah. I, mean, I like that it's just Grigna sat on a chair. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little dorky, don't you think? What do you mean? He's there just like, oh, just sort of a chunk of my head to oh, my It's lap. the fact <laughs> that his feet don't touch the floor. Either that chair is like eight foot, <laughs> or he is the smallest man ever. He's like shrink. <laughs> Dangling his little Maybe legs. Maybe he's just like all torso, and his legs are just tidy. No, it's <laughs> never like day for Greg. Now. Never like day. <laughs> Always arm day. <laughs> I feel like I need to like adjust the sprite a little bit now to give him some to meaty some ham legs. hot legs. Yeah. Oh my god, it gives me like Hulk Hogan vibes right now. I don't know why. Yeah, brother, it's the tank top and the muscles. Yeah, it's just the big big boy muscles, and also Hulk Hogan famously wore a polar bear on his head. He did. He did. Oh, God. This is a weird episode. I hope people enjoyed it. <laughs> Treasure! Treasure! Boop, boop, doop. Is, gonna... is that Bruno Mars? Yeah. Is that actually? Yeah. God, I'm so good. The, yeah, you say that, but like every single time I play anything, you always guess like five wrong things before you get to the right one. I got that one, though. You did, but let's I look. can identify music... Uh, like I uh, uh, from a from a kind of uh, like like uh, sonically, I cannot identify it sonically. 
See, you, know? you know the song, but you might not know the name is what you mean. Or are you... No, no, no. I'm saying I can guess the artist based on the... On oh, the, the way on that the, it sounds. The, yeah, exactly. The, the, the style, yes. Okay. But then when I was listening to something the other day, um, which was super not Ash Nico, you were like, no, that's Ash Nico. And I was like, it's definitely uh, not To be Ash fair, Nico. it was just cringy girl singing. So I... I, it was, I, was I think it was like guess. Doja Cat or something, though. Yeah, I know what I said. <laughs> um... I listen to a quite a variety of music, and you just assume it's all Ash Nico. <laughs> it's just cringy, bro. I don't know, it's man. Epic, epic cringe. It can't be as cringy as that fucking VTuber song your sister put on the other day. I'd oh, rather, I would I rather can't. listen to I Five can't. Nights at Freddy's music I than can't. listen to that again. <laughs> v- VTuber music just now. Put, um, put me in the grave. VTubers in general for me. It's put just me in the grave. Not, I can't. Not something I it's enjoy. So uncanny valley. It's weird. It's strange. It's when, like, you hear references to, like, memes in a song, and so it's it's always cringe. I, I think... Ugh. Rich coming from someone who listens to Denzel Curry. I was literally about to say Denzel Curry, but he's, like, an anime weeb guy rather than a we- meme guy. He is used in memes, but... Like, a lot of rappers do weeb shit, though. There's just That's a true. lot... Of, there's a lot of nerd rap true. out there. Really nerdy. Um, I find it less cringy, though, because at least, like, they were musicians before they were... Um, you know, VTubers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, I get the VTube aspect of... Uh, the, the privacy aspect of the VTuber. Oh, I get why you'd want to be a VTuber if you're, you want to stream, because it's, it does protect your anonymity. But, like... Oh, God. The, the obsession around it is, is bizarre. It's I, so uh, strange. I don't get... I guess it's because, like... I, but the thing is, like... Because people go, like, oh, well, they're cute. And it's like, I like cute girls. You know, but I find it weird. <laughs> oh, it's bizarre. It's like how I feel about really out there weird anime fans, which is most anime fans. Yeah, there's a strong Venn diagram overlap between anime fans and VTubers. In fact, I'd say it's probably 99. It's, like, it's probably very strong. And I, I it, like I, I was watching a Tom Scott video where he talked about going to an anime society at his university. Stop doing that. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> Um, and he said that basically he went in and they were all being extremely cringy and he never wanted to go again. I had that same experience going to Magic an anime. Gathering. Same, but I went to the anime oh, society God. and the Magic Society and they were all insufferable. There are so many hobbies I would love to explore in a public setting and I know I cannot because the people <laughs> are, are too weird, are unfathomable. And I get it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a bastion of safety in a society that has otherwise perhaps treated these people harshly simultaneously. I do not need to be subject to that no. horrific lack of, of social self-awareness. I, ju- I just can't. I can't do it. It just makes me like, Bella, I, can't. I, I just wish that I could could experience this stuff, but I just can't. And that's my problem. You know, I, I would find them cringy if I was around them. So I, I leave them to their own devices where they're happy. And I, you know, I'm, I'm isolated. <laughs> Far away from them. That's the problem though, because like, it's really hard to find. Because even though I talk about weeb shit a lot on this stuff on like our content i don't talk to people in real life about weeb shit i'm not outing myself as a weeb because i'm outing myself as weird by doing that Ooh. in the real world treasure hunter mm. makes the uh, fish bite less often with the treasure hunter oh, but you get more treasure though but you get more treasure. Oh, well i want it i'm here for the treasure i'm trying to make as much money as possible before summer yeah so i can well real... fishing is a good way of doing that oh yeah uh, apparently uh, the best way to make money um i would not even bother selling strawberry i'd keep it to make into i mean if you're not going to do this long term uh what i would do if what I was... do you mean what? i want to finish the museum oh you're gonna do that yeah oh okay then uh well in that case i wouldn't even bother selling your strawberries Wait. I'd make them into seeds Okay, uh, I need help. Uh, it's a bad time in the episode to put this down. If you know it, you, you have full permission to... Uh, ooh, he sells a new rod. Wait. Willie, you're a bit fucking late, brev. <laughs> What's he chatting about? He's got a new rod to sell like an old tackle. You're not going to have enough money. Well, I've, we've already got the best one. Well, they might have got the mithril rod. Mithril. Or whatever they call it in this game. Um... Are you going to do the meow thing? Is that what you're going to do? That's it. You have permission to at me on Discord if you know exactly what I'm talking about here. So I couldn't remember what it's from. Oh, it's from a meme. All right. Oh, you figured it out? It's over. Oh. I couldn't remember what it's from. It's a guy going meow, but it's from the meme. It's the guy meowing at the egg. Oh. No, I don't know that. Oh, fucking hell. I, well, that sound catch was saying it was from a kid's show. I thought it was. And I was like, well, you're talking about Gary from from SpongeBob? Mm. Like, Joja. Why did you drink the Joja Cola? He's tired. You could get his chair out. Joji Cola. Joji Cola. I love you, Joji. 
Oh my god, Joji! Should we go see him live? What, Joji? Uh, oh, it's Pam's birthday! Oh, it's got all the hatches! We need some beer. Where can I buy beer? Goss will sell Goss, it. Goss sells it. Goss. But he only opens after 12, so you've got to wait. 12. 12 p.m. Oh, it's always 12 somewhere. Well, he's not open, mate, so. Shit. Maybe you should stay home today. It's bad luck on Pam's birthday. It's like seeing a <laughs> black cat, you know? Obviously. Walking under a ladder. What were we talking about? Um, oh God, I don't know. Joji! Oh, yeah, Joji. You asked me if we should go see him. I will go see him. I don't know any enough of his songs. I know all of his songs. Do you? Yeah. You know the one where he's got the women with the shaking ass in the the video? Uh, that one is, um, uh... Uh, I've heard the song. I don't like the song, but I've heard the song. I think that my problem with Joji is I find his music boring. I'm going through the whole song in my head because I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Oh, Field Snack. Is that, is it the one that's like... Oh, yeah. Or is that a different one? That's Sanctuary. But yeah, I know that one song, Slow Dancing in the Dark, that I actually do like. And then literally none of the others. I don't. Oh, I know. I like a lot of his stuff. I just, I'm just not a fan of it. It's so boring. <laughs> but it's Papa Franku. My, my problem with it is, is that he's annoying. He's an annoying... Oh, yeah, no. He would be like to, to date Joji. He's like God, a, he sounds like an absolute nightmare. He's man. like whiny male Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's like whinier than t like, Taylor is at least kind of like just like I'm breaking up with you. He's like, oh well, could you wait for me while I fuck other people? I have feelings to confess to you, but don't know how. It's not even that. It's just like like he's got so many songs about how he's just like not ready to commit yet, but also please don't date other people. Like fuck you, Joji. Yeah, Joji. Grow up, man. Call him out. <laughs> Hell yeah, get him. Yeah. I don't. Oh, we didn't even put the bobber on. Wait, did it break? It broke. They, Wait, what? They break. They break? They break. I just ruined my streak. Why did they break? They they, they run out of durability. It's what? To make, to make you bit, build more. What? What, the, what? what are you talking about? It's a small mouth bass, not big mouth bass. That sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> he, looked, he looked at me because we just went silent and just glared at each other. It's like a flashbang. <laughs> this is such this fucking karma. Nightmare. That was God telling you to stop. No, God can't stop me. I can't fish anymore. I'm out of bait and I'm out of bobber. <laughs> bobber, prepare the ship. I hate you. I hate you as a person. Oh, we're just going to hang around town today instead of fishing. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. We got all that stuff to deliver to Gunther. Gunther? Yeah, we could go see Gunther. Oh, Gunther. Oh, I've got you some stuff for your museum. Puts it on display. Oh, it's Mayor Lewis. I should have a chat with him. Maybe Lewis was one of the romanceable options that they offered you. The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. <laughs> yeah. That's how he sounds. Uh, that's my voice for Lewis. I have voices for all of them in my head, but I can't do half of them. You think that Lewis voted Trump? Oh my God, it's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Oh, you're lost in a book season to forget the realities of your life. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's really depressing. Oh, God. Like, all of Penny's things is just like, I'm sad. <laughs> the problem is I can't do, like, lady voices, you know? Like, no. stereotypical lady voice. You should just do the, the, the one voice that little Karibo does for every woman. Hi there, I'm Penny. Oh, like he, that. Yeah. Oh, you can do the My Valentine voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can do impressions of other people doing ladies' voices. Well, that's not right. Who needs a largemouth bass for a pizza? You sold all your bass. No, they were smallmouth bass. Willy will be thankful. Your Willy can... <laughs> so my Ooh. Willy. You're going to see Morris. What's this? It's... Oh, is this Morris? He yeah. comes in and he says it's cheaper than Jojo Mart, right? Yeah, he's like, I'm going to give you all vouchers for Jojo Mart. It's kind of a dick move, you know? I don't know if that's allowed. You just walk in someone else's shop and start giving them our fucking shit. Oh, welcome to Pierre. That's capital T. Don't need that. How can I help you? You should... Ah, concerned date. You should, like, tweet at him. You fucking did a typo. Typo. <laughs> How do you think Morris would sound? Oh, he's going to be like a... Like type. George R. R. Martin. <laughs> yes, he just sounds like that. Yeah. <laughs> Now we have this, George. Uh, there's, a, there's a joke. There's an in-joke. George R. R. Martin is a creepy man. <laughs> Cause, cause he Come always... and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at George R. Martin. He touched the What are their profit witness. margins? <laughs> they can afford to just throw out a 50% off like that. Yeah, I know, right? Good God, man. I mean, it's supposed to be like an Amazon, in it? Oh, 50%! <laughs> <laughs> Even his wife! That's not his wife. That's not his wife! <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> His own wife was like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> that would have been really funny. I wish they'd have done that. Somebody should 
Bon Jovi out and putting fucking Catherine. I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at the loss. Oh. <laughs> Morris reminds me of, uh, that's right. I think his name is Ezcade from Pokemon Coliseum. I've He's the big bad it. old mayor man from Pokemon Coliseum. You know what? Who, what was your favorite Pokemon game of Crystal. all time? I mean, like, of, of spin-offs and everything. Crystal. Still Crystal. Uh, mine's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh. Explorers Sky. Either that or it would be... Can I read the... Morris's lines? Oh, sure, go on. Go on. Thank then. you. He might... What was, <laughs> what was his voice? <laughs> And no, it must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. This is the Cho Choji voice. Oh my god, it's the Choji voice. It's the Choji voice. It's the Choji voice. Oh, imagine, imagine oh, people Naruto. don't know that reference. <laughs> Can you blame them? Choji Corporation is clearly the superior choice. He's hung. He's hung. Oh fuck, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> don't look that up. Oh my god, I'm crying. That's my biggest shame. That's the most shameful thing I've ever made in my whole life. <laughs> Soon the whole town will realize. <laughs> <laughs> Which are you going for? Is it Joji or George? <laughs> I I would say Joji or George. Joji. Joji or George. Not Joji. <laughs> we got a lot of cross lines. What does it look here. like? Grigna's got a tail. Is he a furry? He's wearing dinosaur trousers. He's a furry. To, for, uh, as a as a homage to his good friend Dinky the dinosaur, where he met his good mate Boone. Grigna is a scaly. He's not a scaly. He's a scaly. Oh, get, get, his name out your motherfucking <laughs> mouth, knew, okay? I knew that's where you were going with it. Down the way, Abigail! But yeah, my favourite Pokemon games are those. I also like the Pokemon Ranger games a lot. What are we doing? Uh, you were going to get Pam some beer for her birthday. Oh, that's right. But it's not open time. yet, because it's, um, it's 11.20. I'm happy to write off a whole day for <laughs> Pam. <laughs> Just for Pam. Oh, fuck. I'm still, like, nearly crying from that fucking narrative video. <laughs> That's oh, my biggest shame. I need to delete that. We should do another. Yeah. I, 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 she I, is. I occasionally watch it just to like uh, feel pain. <laughs> Blah. I, what was her voice? I, <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. I need to like write them down on my notes so I can remember which voice I've given yeah. them. I think she was like the ghoul voice that I did. Oh, smooth skin. Okay. I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. It's her birthday as well. She's just like, nah, man. I'm, I'm gonna... over. I'm, I'm done. What's See you later. What's caramel pour, sir? I don't know. It sounds bad, though. I don't, I a don't caramel know. drink? No. Uh, is it a drink, though? Or it is must, it just like... She went to the saloon, and she was like pissed last night, so it must be. Yeah, but, but the saloon is in place that sells food in this godforsaken town. I don't know. Pierre sells you, like, turnips. <laughs> Pierre can eat my turnips. I'm not paying Pierre's prices. I want like, to go to Joji Mart. I'm actually going to find a mod that changes Morris into... Where the <laughs> fuck is everyone? He's probably not in yet. Oh, yeah, there he's he is. walking down. You have to wait for him. Oh, arcade. Changes Morris into Joji. <laughs> I've got one that changes Linus into Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> Have you not seen that? No. Ah. Oh. That. No, that's good though. I like that. It is good. I'd probably like the character more if it was Linus Tech Tips. Hello, Gus. Gus, he's a fucking paying customer here, you prick. A uh, keg for Pam's birthday. Yeah, but you're not going to give it Beer. to her. There you go. I like how they're giving you a Bang. keg. Like that's that's actually really cheap considering. Is it cheap? Yeah, because, like, making oh. cakes takes ages. <gasps> oh, I can buy those now. Yeah. We'll turn into a beverage. Yeah. What beverage can I make, though? Uh, it, if With kegs, it'll make either ale or wine. Yeah, but I haven't... Like, you can put any crop in there, though. Uh, it makes juice. So oh, well, so you, I can make, it, like, parsnip juice. Yeah. Cauliflower it, juice. Yeah. That's not right. It sells for more, though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Pam! Oh, she left the trailer unlocked again. I'm going to go sniff Penny's bed. <laughs> Where's she gone? Uh, I don't know. Oh, she's in Joji Mart. Oh, yeah. She got to her home. Right, let's go and have it. Let's make sure Pam gets her gift. And then I'm happy to write this day off. Oh, fucking hell. Are you right? I'm still laughing at Joji. Please don't. It's my biggest shame. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Who's dude. she? Uh, she's just a woman that works there. That's really sad, isn't it? That she's, like, faceless. She at least you can talk to dialogue. Gunther and shit. Yeah. Well, welcome to Joji Mart. How are you doing today? Membership is now available with a Joji Mart membership. No, I'm not. Nope. Imagine if you accidentally click yes then. Or well, like I did with a fucking pet. No, well, that wasn't accidental. I clicked no to Marnie. Oh, so you didn't get your dog? Because I thought she'd be like, oh, come on, don't be like that, Grigny, you prick. But she's like, no, fine, I'm leaving. So I missed out on Garfield. You missed out on Garfield, you piece of shit. You remembered my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. <laughs> she uh, actually out of everybody, by the way. Boom. Be besties. Look at that. Me and Pam together forever. Pam and Lewis. God, that's a sad sight, isn't it? Who, who hates me? Who hates uh, you? Pierre. Mo 
<laughs> Morbius -y. What? Who's Morbius? Wizard. We made the wizard into Morbius -y? Yeah. I mean, sure, why not, right? Wizard. It was it was just a mod that was like, Wizard becomes Morbius. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, of course. I'm going to download that. And then it turned him into Morbius -y, which I didn't sign up for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Why? I don't know. She feels like you're sniffing a teenager's hair. It's just like... It's better than sniffing your fucking hair. Oh, right. So he's been... <laughs> your bonfire hair. I've got a hair mask that I use sometimes because it makes my hair smooth. I'll and be Sam... baking cookies today. Sam doesn't like the smell of it. He thinks they smell like it a smells bonfire. smells like a bonfire. I have uh, a very much reduced sense of smell and I can smell that. It's because it's lush. Like crazy. Uh, I'll get a different one. I will get a different one. Please do. I will finance it because, Jesus Christ, you smell like a damn bonfire. Why do you, you hate it so much? It's, I don't it's get it. It's really stinky. Right, when he says, I'm hungry, where's mum? What does that imply? That she's going to make him dinner. Right. He's not being breastfed. He's like eight. Well, you don't know. Jesus. Did you know that when you become friends with Brett Vincent, he, want, he tells you he wants to marry Penny? That's some... Um, that's some... Uh, <laughs> that's some real, like, Oedipus stuff there that I'm not qualified to dismantle. Mm. Hello, Haley. I'm not reading your shit. It's all right. On his report card that you find in his mum's house, it's like, Vincent's not not very studious. Because, you know, Penny does <laughs> Vincent's a fucking idiot. Vincent's a fucking idiot. Penny could have the Valley Girl voice. She could. Because that, that's, that's, like, actually perfect for her. But you have to make her say Alex instead of Chad. Oh, my God. Emily. El Emily. You I don't want to clean the sofa cushions. Emily. It's couch, isn't it? I don't want to clean the couch cushions. Emily. You blocked the toilet again, Emily. <laughs> Stop putting gemstones on the toilet, Emily. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> Emily's just like, no, I've got to get the chakras of the toilet right. And you people are like, oh, Emily, best girl. <laughs> Who the fuck thinks Emily is the best I've, girl? I, she, Emily's got a lot of fans. I don't get it. Demetrius, how's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? Thanks, Demetrius. It's called fucking spring, you moron. <laughs> um, like, I, I don't get people that are Elliot fans. He seems, like, so creepy to me. Big same. I don't get it. He's so creepy. Big same. Like, in your final event with him, where you, he takes you out on a boat and he kisses you on the boat, uh, all, all I could think about was the fact that this man has rowed me out into the middle of the sea and I have no escape. <laughs> you can't, that's a kiss, you can't say no yeah. to the implication, right? Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Linus. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your fire. <laughs> Kick dirt in a homeless man's fire and walks <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Thing is, like, Linus has lost all his internet street cred points because of his stupid Because of his bag. backpacks. He went bankrupt for it and then lives in the That's, that's why he lives in the tent. That's uh, why people throw rocks in the tent. It's not because he's homeless, it's because he's Linus. Where's my warranty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. I think my favorite was still the Kanye texture because when you were like before the, we did the episode we knew that what song we were going to do because we were joking about it before because we randomly did the noise and then I saw Kanye and I was trying not to laugh I was going like bottom back <laughs> have I leveled up why is foraging so hard to level up it's not that hard you just pick up stuff and cut trees down I'm only level three I picked up so much stuff like Pam well cut your trees down then Oh, really? I gotta cut trees down. Yes, mate. Oh, God, I'm keeping all this stuff to turn into juice. It may, you're making it sound like I'm like kicking you in the cock or something. I don't want to play a farming game. <laughs> Why are you playing on that? <laughs> it's complicated. What's wrong Someone with you? Someone was like, play Stardew Valley, and I saw it in Discord, and I was like, yep, for sure. That's the wrong place. I thought those were fucking plants. They are. Sam. They are. I thought they were plants. Why are you putting in the rock they folder? They are. Why have you got jo Why have you got Joja Cola in this one? What'd you make cola out of? Oh, I've already done. And also the other one. You've got it in two different things. Well, yeah, because the outside of the can's made of metal and the inside of the can's made of plant. Conserve the space. <laughs> you piece of fuck. We're gonna do some chopping. Oh Christ Almighty. We'll do some chopping. Yep. A little, little chopping. Kapow. We should clear a path to mine. Please get out your scythe and cut down some of this shit. Bruh. Please. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Please cut the stuff. Why? It's just grass. It's nice grass. It's wild grass. You fucking hate the bees now too? 
Yes, I hate you and the bees. Why do you hate the bees? What do the bees do? You can't see shit. Also, I'm like 99% sure that like if you let your farm overgrow too much, it like breaks paths and like can fuck up your crops. I'm not sure though. There. You happy? No, I'm not happy. It's like uh, uh, Animal Crossing, where you get bored and then you come back to it in like two months. And, and then you've got everybody... fucking weeds everywhere. Yeah, and... like the whole town has just gone to shit because they are completely incompetent without you. Oh yeah, those funny shaped um, weed things, they uh, always give you seeds. They Funny shaped weed things? What do you oh, mean? Right. There was one at the top of your farm. If we see it again, I'll show you. Oh. Wow, you give me all the insider knowledge. This is fantastic. You're welcome. All you have to do is play the same game. Poor Ad nauseum. If it's any consolation, it's over a thousand hours if I can include my Switch playtime. Oh, that's sad. I played that's a lot so of sad. it. I just really like this game. It's not even that good. Well, the problem is that, like, there's no other, like, farming games. Because I really don't like the 3D graphics that they do on, like, modern fucking well, farming games. I hate it so much. Do I have some good news for you? Because guess what was on the Nintendo Direct? That's right. 15 clones of Stardew Valley. Yep. And I'm not even joking. I was a loss to the ether. I just, I, I like farming games, but I hate like the 3D stuff. I don't like how it looks. I don't like how it plays because it's never as responsive as just having it in 2D. So yeah. This has been long overdue. Long over Stardew. Oh, got him. Please clap. If Thank you want you. it to fall in a specific direction, then cut it from the opposite. Yeah, but I want it to fall down. No, no, I mean like... You mean that you can only do left or right? I know that, yeah. but I want it to fall downwards. Well, it's not going to do that. Why? Like, seeing as you're on the slightly over to the side, it's going to go the other way. Yeah, I know. I know how it works. Well, I don't know if you knew that. I know You how seem it works. to not know some weird sh stuff in this game, so I don't have trust in you. What do you mean you don't have trust in I me? Don't, I if you don't mean, who, who can you have trust in, in have? I uh, trust nobody, not even <laughs> yourself. <laughs> can I try that sentence again? <laughs> yeah, go on, chief. <laughs> if you don't have trust in me, who can you have trust in? I don't know. Is that better? Yeah, uh, Jesus. Wow. Me and him go way back. How far back? I don't know, like 2,000 years. I don't believe you. You don't, you don't, how would you know? You've only known me like seven. Well, you knew Jesus when he was like 12. I knew him when he was one. 22, sorry. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Are you proud of yourself? That was a great day in Stardew Valley. Thanks <laughs> for being here. It's a great day. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Yeah, thanks for being with us. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna go in the mine. Uh huh. And slap around some monsters. Okay. And then we're going to leave Pam's trailer and then go into the mine. Whee! Oh, got him! Abuse. Thank you for watching. Old did we level woman. up? Did we, did we level up? We've got to remember to leave this in the episodes because sometimes I'll stop recording here and then afterwards and then you, it'll be like, you don't level up. leveled up. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, well, shit. Now I If it's to... saved, it probably hasn't leveled up. Will you say that? But it has it. <laughs> just... What were we level up? Like uh, foraging? Because we didn't do anything that You day. didn't level up foraging. I level up my it. Pam love. You did. You love. You de genuinely did. That's it. Join Grigna tomorrow for hat. Hat. 